For some of you, the, voices, the voice of other people are louder in your life than the voice of God. Right? And the voices you listen to in life will determine your perspective in life. The voices you listen to in life will determine your pers- perspective in life. Some of you have people around you that are telling you, you know what, you're always going to be that way. Why are you even trying to change? Why do you even have hope that things will get better? You've always been that way, you're always going to be that way. You're just a failure, right? And you've had people tell you that, and that's how you see yourself. You're never going to get out of that addiction. You're never going to break that habit, right? There you go, you messed up again. Look at what you did. You want to try and get ahead? You want to try and get out of that trap you've been in or that cycle that's impacted your family generation after generation? What, what do you, who do you think you are? All right? You've been hanging around those crazy Christians too much. You think you're going to overcome? Yeah, right. For some of you, the voices you listen to have shaped how you see not only yourself, but how you see, how you see culture, and you now see yourself as a victim because of the news sites you follow or the people you listen to on the radio or the talking heads and and you feel like you're a victim and you feel like you know poor old me look at me Uh, i I just barely can get by you know government's too big too powerful they're just out to get me or or i'm just a victim of corporations and evil business owners or or, you know the man he's just holding me down i'm just always going to be here right and that's so shaped and that's such a loud voice in your head that it's louder than even god is and that's how you now see yourself and how you see the the world around you Because the voices you listen to will determine your perspective in life. And Zacchaeus was not going to allow the voices of others to be more powerful than the voice of God. This is one of the reasons that we, if you've been around Life Church long, we we strongly encourage you to spend time every day in this book. Because see, this book, the Bible, this isn't just a history book. This isn't a book that you open up and just has some positive sayings in it and some good ways of thinking. But when you start to read the words on these pages, you start to hear the voice of God. And you start to read these words and and you start to see, you know what, I'm not a victim, but I'm a victor in Christ. You start to see these and you read these words and you start to hear, you know what, I'm not defined by my past. My failures aren't going to hold me back because in Jesus Christ, I have a new beginning. I have a new identity. I'm a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And you start to see that. You start to read these words and you start to have hope for your future. You start to see, you know what, the God that I serve is bigger than anything that I face in this world. And you start allowing the voice of God to be louder in your life than the voice of all the naysayers around you. 